We'll hear the French, that's fine. One more person, no, Susan, no, 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 no. just say what you think is very important. Everybody has introduced, everybody has, has, has shared the organizations that they support you can talk. and work with. Susan Schnur. Hi. 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 Uh, I'm actually a socialist, I'm in Workers World Party. But I also really feel strongly about Palestinian freedoms. Thank you. And a strong Jewish presence, thank you. Well, not Shalom, that's Hebrew. I, that's, a, that's an invader language. Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> <That's Yiddish. laughs> All right. Salah. Can we say Salah? Absolutely. I can say hello. <laughs> to support the Palestinians, to support the resolutions. In Vermont, I'm on several different groups, and we have a Vermonters for a Just Peace in Palestine, Israel, that is very active. And also, we have, have been asked to be a part of a group called New England Network for Justice for Palestine. And this is just a new group that started three years ago, but we have about 20 allies in the six uh, states that represent New England. And so it is a growing organization, and they include the Jewish Voice for Peace in Boston and some of the Palestinian groups. And then in the city of Burlington, Vermont, before I arrived in Vermont, they had a sister city with Bethlehem and Arad. And they just wanted to have Burlington and Bethlehem, but the Zionists in Burlington wanted to make sure things were balanced. And so they added the city of Arad from down in the middle. But we are very active, and we were the first sister city, a sister city international, that was with, uh, that was considered a crisis area, a conflict area, and received recognition for that. So we are also trying to encourage other cities and towns in the United States to find a Palestinian city or town to adopt as a sister city and build the, uh, the relationships and help with the education of, of people. Thank you.